IT enthusiasts, uh, this is Shin Kamui. Um, just wanted to put down a quick video tonight, Sunday, of my current progress. I know a lot of you are interested in uh, booting alternate OSs, Linux, and uh, of course the excellent gingerbread Android that um, Tiga Tech put out. So I just wanted to show you where I'm at right now. Um, most people seem to be really interested in, in getting Mego working. So I'm going to go ahead and start there. Everyone, We've all seen Windows 7 and all it works right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and boot up Mego. That was a little bit of work to get that working um, properly. So, uh, Mego boots pretty quickly. Not as fast as, as Android, but uh, it's definitely faster than Windows 7. There are a few hitches still in the tablet edition. Um, some kernel modifications were needed to get uh, touch working altogether. Uh, I went one step further and got multi-touch working. Um, Definitely not an easy thing to do, but uh, as soon as I get this thing straightened out, I will put an image up for your uh, using pleasure. Also, power management isn't perfect. Uh, right now, the system won't sleep without the command prompt. It only powers down. Um, and as you can see, here's one of the, the UI hitches. We've got uh, portrait and landscape kind of intertwined. Uh, so anyway, slide to, to unlock the usual. The OS is pretty pretty seamless and fluid. Uh, touch works properly. Um, Wi-Fi works pretty well. I haven't actually set this up. I did a fresh install so that I could show you guys what it looks like from from scratch. Let's see. Go ahead and uh, get my network connected. I'm going to go ahead and use the case, the uh, keyboard case, because it's more convenient for me. But, um... Let's see. This looks like we're connected. We're we'll going to go ahead and open the browser. This would be the best way to kind of demonstrate the system. Browser is pretty nice. The soft keyboard worked quite well. pops up when you need it as expected Google launch is fine All right so uh, let's go view the Tiga Tech website nothing unusual or unexpected here everything works fine as expected now multi-touch as you can see, works perfectly in uh, with the modified kernel. Um, the UI is a, is a little tricky to work with. It's not what I mean. Most of you are probably used to double tapping home. It's supposed to bring up all apps, but it doesn't always work that way unless you have applications already open. As you can see, the apps open up in landscape mode, which is kind of aggravating. But there are a few fixes that are can be done from the command prompt to fix it. Um, let's open the notes app real quick. Pretty standard fare here. Hitting home. Let's go back. Here we go. We should bring up the last used apps. Also give you the app launcher. I haven't even tested the camera yet to see if it works. And it does. Interestingly enough, the uh, I didn't think that this would interface with the kernel drivers for the camera, but it looks like it's working with the system on chip altogether. So we're good to go. Um, it's fast, hardware accelerated, pretty nice to work with. Um, getting apps in this edition is not as easy as uh, like other versions of Mego. So a lot of that has to be ironed out. I'll keep working on it, and when I'm done, I will. I promise to get something up for you. If people want it bad enough, I'll put something up um, maybe as early as midweek this week. Just the current progress. Um, hitting power does a shutdown. It doesn't. You can't sleep the tablet from there. And reconfiguring these buttons is not easy. I uh, just wanted to give another thanks to Hugo for providing me with the hardware components to turn this original T uh, ViewPad into a Tiga V2.1. Um, 
So I'll be trying to do a lot of development for you guys on that. Uh, Ubuntu is the other big one, so I wanted to show this. It's called Bodhi Linux. Uh, it's based on Ubuntu, uh, but it uses Enlightenment as its default window manager. Um, Enlightenment is a is a is an awesome window manager. It's fast. It's lightweight. It supports software and hardware uh, special uh, effects. Um, but this is really well done, quite polished, um, almost works perfectly out of the box other than touch, which with my modified kernel, it, it works well. In fact, multi-touch is working in the kernel, but there doesn't seem to be an enlightenment um, user land to, to intercept or, or utilize that. So um, I'm working on trying to get U-Touch from Ubuntu uh, working with it. Um, haven't made much progress yet. But uh, I just want to give you another demo. I already have this pretty much set up to my liking. Wi-Fi works. For, uh, it's got a similar UI to what you're used to with Android. Um, I like the fact that it has a top bar. Uh, I've been playing with Firefox Mobile a lot, so I like it. We'll go with uh, Google as usual. This does also have a soft keyboard, uh, but you need to activate it. When you tap it, it brings it up. We'll search for Flash. Video. Test. Oh, that's right. Flash with this works. It just doesn't work with YouTube. Go figure. I'm going to look into that at the moment. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, but that's just with this specific browser. Um, this one works slightly different. Left and right, this back and forward actually bring you from your working application to your quick apps list. You can drag anything you want in widgets here. Um, it's actually... Pretty nice little setup. If we use the full Firefox, which I also have installed. I don't have the um, tap and drag interface for Firefox installed because I've been using Firefox Mobile. Just gonna pick a random video. It really doesn't matter. But as you can see, video plays fine. And I'm really struggling to touch that bar on the right. On the right, I need to work on that. But as you can see, I mean, there's no lag in the video whatsoever. It runs perfectly. Continues running in the background. There's a nice little indicator of CPU usage. Uh, what what the clock rate's running? When it's at one gigahertz, it means it's not even touching the processor generally. Um, not a lot else here really to show. Multi-touch does not work, unfortunately but we will work on it. There's some very nice uh, features which I'll have to save for another video, but it's very touch friendly other than the applications that aren't natively touch friendly and most everything works uh, as I said the hardware wise. I haven't tested Bluetooth yet, I don't really have anything to connect it with uh, but whatever you guys want to see let me know we will uh, attempt to get that working if it's not working and put up demo videos as well as hopefully final images for all of this. Um, the last thing is for some of you who haven't actually seen the status of Android as of right now I want to show it to you. Before we do that let's go ahead and suspend so you can see suspend working. Shuts down the appropriate hardware instant suspend almost instant on I absolutely love this. There are only The only flaw I have with this 
with Bodhi is again the touch elements are not perfect and multi-touch doesn't work so it's aggravating but connections work tablet interface works great love it let's go ahead and shut down we'll restart hitting the power button by the way in Bodhi also does a software suspend that wasn't something I had to to kinda hack in there it works great out of the box so the last thing is uh, the gingerbread release from I think it was last Wednesday uh, latest greatest it's uh, pretty solid the only problem I've seen with it so far is literally suspend is still broken um, I can't get it'll suspend properly but I can't get it to wake up um, I tried the the tap on screen right when it comes up it does not work for me um, and on top of it the device will randomly wake up on its own so that's still kinda dead see I have a nice little live wallpaper um, it's not even touching the system speed wise absolutely beautiful I'm using um, ADW Launcher X internet perfect full speed multi-touch uh, guys at Tiga Tech did a bang up job as you can see the menu key works without disabling Wi-Fi uh, that was a big deal for a long time with the early early uh, iterations home button or this the home button now works as a back button let's see yeah so home works with the back button if you hold down home then it brings you back home holding down back will turn off Wi-Fi uh, suspend it suspends but when you power back on i never able to catch it goes back to suspend so that's something they're probably have to work on i'm also looking into it but i don't know if there's gonna be a lot i can do as you can see it just powered back on its so own i didn't actually hit the power button and that just randomly happens sometimes so not perfect but again the system boots up so quickly that uh... i still use android all the time i just shut it down when i'm done it's uh... very solid very good work so again if there's anything you want or need um, let me know either send me an email drop me a message on the forums whatever uh, I'm gonna keep working on this and hopefully I'll have uh, some releases I'd like to say next weekend um, at the speed this has been going I'm, I'm, I'm I think I might be able to have something done by Wednesday or Thursday and just putting it into an image that you guys can install and customize is gonna be a couple days but uh, let me know all right. And if you have any other, you know, the questions or comments, drop them off in the forum or even on my uh right onto the YouTube video. Thanks.